pass. We've got some great news for you guys. We got a $2,000 Social Security payment for low income seniors, fourth stimulus check in 2024 for SSDI, SSI, low income seniors. This information just come out today as the economy continues to be unstable with high rates of unemployment and inflation. There is a growing possible fourth stimulus check in 2024. We're going to talk about the reasons and impacts of such financial assistance, particularly for the individuals on a fixed income, such as Social Security, SSDI, SSI, VA, RRB benefits, low-income families, and seniors. Due to the e economy that it is unstable with high rates, given the uncertain economic future and upcoming elections, it's important that to understand the necessity of this financial aid. Hey, what is up, you two? Welcome back to another show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Your love and support mean the world. We've got some great, great news for you guys. Watch Mormon Rose. Hola, como estas? Buenas noches. Uh, I hope you're doing fabuloso. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You love supporting the world. We couldn't do this without you guys. We are here because of you, and we hope to, that you'll continue to support us as we are on this journey. So, guys, we've got a video that we really want to show you exactly of things that are happening. Listen, we talk about Donald Trump. We talk about Joe Biden. We talk about RFK Jr. We talk about old Bernie Sanders. But one person that we've really never talked about is, well, let's just let the video speak for itself. Guys, check this video out. Great franchise. The owner is a great man who is a member of one of my clubs, and he's fantastic. And, uh, yeah, they do very well. They're closed on Sunday. The Lord's Chicken. That's the Lord's Chicken. Donald Trump mingling with an adoring crowd at an Atlanta Chick-fil-A yesterday. The former president ordering 30 milkshakes during his surprise visit, showing off his retail political skills. Fox News contributor Carl Rove is here, a former White House deputy chief of staff. Great to have you here. Listen to one more woman who says she's with Trump. Watch. I don't care what the media tells you, Mr. Trump. We support you. Uh, we you. Okay, 4 p.m. We do 4 p.m. Come here, let me give you a hug. These kinds of crowds, he draws them when he's able to get there, Carl. Absolutely. And think about the, the, the image that we had. We've got the current president standing in aviator glasses at a Rose Garden ceremony, stiff, uh, can't make eye contact with him, seemingly aloof, formal. And then uh, the former president visiting uh, Chick-fil-A. Who doesn't like Chick-fil-A? And uh, getting a, uh, a very warm welcome. So... Uh, campaigns are based on uh, lots of things. Uh, images matter a lot in those uh, in those considerations. And yesterday's image war was won by Donald Trump easily. And not to mention the denial of the reality of the economic environment for the American people, sort of doubling down on things getting better. The president made the case. Yeah. Yeah, and look uh, the, the, again. The, the, they they made a mistake last year by going out and talking about Bidenomics. Uh, you, know, you know, if you've ever been in a marketing class, if something is not popular, don't put your name on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, since the beginning, the so-called Bidenomics, whatever the economic policies of the administration are, have not seemingly helped Americans cope with this uh, uh, issue of rising prices for everything that we come into contact with every day. Go fill up the car. You go pick up groceries. You take the kids out for a happy meal. You go get uh, clothes to get them back to school. You pay the insurance bill. You pay the utility bill. You pay your mortgage. You pay your rent. All of these things have risen dramatically, and people feel that and know that. And for the president to go out there and say it's working, uh, they, they don't feel it. There's going to be a period of adjustment where we where we come into conformity with these the new reality of higher prices for everything that we uh, and use in our lives and what that does to the average family budget up night prices up 19% and median household income down 5%. Try try figuring out how to deal with that roughly 25% difference in prices and your ability to pay them. And no end in sight. Also vice president Kamala Harris at the campaign trail, she did a podcast. Um, and she's worried that 2024 could be the last democratic election. 
There are so many layers to what is um, at stake and why I think a lot of people have had it. I don't think it's hyperbolic to say this genuinely could be the last democratic election we ever have. You're right. Carl, they've been saying this for a long time. And if you look at the polls right now, President Trump and President Biden are tied on who would protect democracy the most. So have the Democrats sort of squeezed all they can out of that lemon? Yeah, I mean, she's talking to the to the to the faithful. She's not talking to the swing voters. I mean, you're right. Both parties uh, have a, a adherents who believe that the other party is an existential threat uh, to the future of the country. But the people who are going to decide the election are the ones trying to figure out who's going to do a better job over the next four years than the other one. And uh, there there may be a relatively small group of people. They may be 10, 15 percent of the electorate at most. Uh, some of them are weakly committed to one choice or another today, but. Uh, but many of them are still up in the air. And this kind of language does nothing except uh, energize the true believers. And just as uh, saying the election of 2020 was stolen and energizes the true believers on the other side. So a uh, bad move on Kamala Harris's part. She, she wisely was going to Arizona to talk about abortion, which is going to be a problem in that state for Republicans. But again, tone deaf on the part of the Democrats. Yeah, I mean, that, her ability to figure out a way to say, all right, I'm going to go to Arizona, I'm going to get on the plane, I'm going to be there and drive in that news cycle, that is smart and flexible of her on that front. Carl Rove, thanks for kicking us off. Thank you, Carl. I'm so Guys, tell me what you think about that. Like, literally, so much news, so much things that are happening. So many people are frustrated about the whole logics behind everything. Biden not able to be uh like in conversation with the people, not really showing anything. And then you've got somebody like, oh, Donald Trump that shows up at a Chick-fil-A and he's cool with everybody. He's a he's a he's a, a, a man of the people. So, guys, let me know what that do you think about that down in the comments below. I did want to show you something real fast because I'm going to play a video for you guys that I really want you to see that's hopefully going to shed some light on some things that are happening and things that are out there because information out there like this. Guys, the $2,000 Social Security payment for low-income seniors for the stimulus check in 2024 for none, other, none other than the SSDI and the SS pass or that it's been confirmed or that tomorrow you're seeing it in your bank account. Just want to make sure we're on the same page. But I do want to show you that this is what's been happening. And this is what I believe Joe Biden is going to use as his tactic to gain not only your vote, but the student debt cancellation vote from all the students. So again, guys, uh, welcome to the show. Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to become part of a great family. Otis, Perfect Magic, thank you guys so much for tuning in. So I want to start a poll real fast, guys, and and I just want to ask you because several of you guys are are older and you've been around a lot longer and you've seen the news, you've seen the headlines, you actually got to see this thing probably on live television. So what better people to ask than you viewers? So today, as many of you know, uh, O.J. Simpson has passed away due to cancer. Uh, uh, you know complications and stuff and you know despite the circumstance we we hope and pray for his family and hope that you know he rests in peace okay but to that statement i do want to ask you do you believe that oj simpson was guilty and it's brought such controversy because so many people say yes he was, no, he wasn't, and, you know, the thing is this, um, he was also, you know, he went to prison for like nine years for kidnapping and doing a whole lot of other stuff, so it wasn't like it was past him to do anything like this, but at the same time, you know, th there's a lot of issues and things that have brought all this together. Man, what is on my nose? It feels like something has just bit me or something. I don't know, guys. Uh, but no, he wasn't. Yes, he was. Um, let me know what you think about it down in the comments below because, you know, I don't know, guys. I I haven't really – I've seen some clips of the court scenes. I've seen – I mean, didn't he have a book that said I did it or something? It was, like, insane. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Lisa, let him rest in peace. Billy Higgs. Is this for real? 
Uh, yes. And uh, let's see. Here we go. Wow. Wow. We have some, you know, we've got a lot of people that are saying, wait a minute. No, he wasn't. So again, guys, I'm going to leave it up to you. I felt like you uh, better than others would know exactly what is going on. So let's talk about this $2,000 social security payment for low income seniors. And you know, as well as I know that if anybody needs help, it's you guys. So as we're talking about the $2,000 stimulus, I wanted to run this by you to get your input, get your thoughts, because again, I've seen it, I know it, and well, that is just a, here we go, here we go. The numbers. So, do you, uh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, man, it is warm in this room. I can tell you that much. Good evening. I'm Sharon Coe. The unemployment crisis. Okay, that's not it. I literally saved it. So I could show you guys and it literally disappeared. Oh, here we go. There's that, which... Here we go. Found it. All right, guys. So tell me if this refreshes your memory. Now, let me just refresh your memory, okay? Uh, Democrats have proposed a new bill that could give you $2,000 checks every month. And it has many of you talk. All right. Y'all see that, right? Let me fix this real fast. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, Democrats have proposed a new bill that could give you $2,000 checks every month, and it has many of you talking on social media. The two House Democrats behind the proposal say the one-time $1,200 checks just simply won't be enough. News 19's Alicia Niavez tells us more. Many South Carolinians are $1,200 richer this week. It's thanks to the one-time check from the CARES Act, which passed last month. Now, a new bill called the Emergency Money for the People Act is looking to give Americans more money as the unemployment rate continues to skyrocket. In fact, since the CARES Act was passed, 16.6 .6 million Americans filed new claims for unemployment benefits. Here's how the proposed bill would work. Every American 16 and older making less than $130,000 a year would get at least $2,000 a month. Married couples earning less than $260,000 would get $4,000 a month. Families would get $500 per child per month for up to three children. Payments would be guaranteed for six months and would continue until 60% of people over 16 years old are back to work. The measure would also... Do you guys remember that? Do you remember when that was happening? Do you remember when people were talking about these $1,200 stimulus checks? And then you come across, you know, information like this that, that really makes that you think. good news. Yeah, the largest is 19. So. We'll go down soon. Are you living fully on Social Security right now? Uh, no, I have a retirement. But uh, I, do, I do. So right there, are you living on Social, full on fully on Social Security? go down soon are you living fully on social security right now? uh no i have a retirement but uh i do i do use social security as part of it too this is charles he lives in mobile and says the 8.7 percent cost of living adjustment is great but it's only keeping up with inflation which currently stands at 8.2 percent priced any eggs lately i have not 550 a dozen, a dozen so uh everything is expensive so eight. It's basically breaking even. That's about right. Correct. Yeah. The Social Security Administration says recipients will receive an average of $140 more every month starting in January. It's going to be a good thing. This is going to be Dennis Hargrove's first year on retirement. I'm 70 years old, so I got the maximum I could, so that's going to help out a little bit. 
Other retirees I spoke with remain skeptical, but they're trying to stay optimistic, hoping this increase in January will provide them with a little wiggle room when it comes to major expenses like rent, gas, groceries, and medical bills. On top of the eight point. Yeah, guys, and, and that's another thing that so many people, even with the 8.7 said, it's going to help us break even. And now that they're reverting to like a 3.2, I'm like, what? Like inflation hasn't even went down. That's how many of you guys would agree and say inflation has not went down? Um, I wanted to show you this, guys, and let and get your thoughts on this because uh, welcome back to twenty twenty four. All right, I want to show you this video real fast and show you guys kind of what's going on. Primary season kicks off in just four weeks. In one key battleground state, President Biden getting big warning signs from a group that helped him win in 2020. NBC's Shaquille Brewster is telling us why young voters in Wisconsin are now shifting away from the president. I voted for Biden, and I told my friends to as well. Evan McKenzie is a Starbucks worker and union organizer in Madison, Wisconsin, who cast his very first presidential ballot for Joe Biden. Do you plan on voting for him this time around? Uh, no, no, not, not anymore. The 23-year-old was part of the surge in young voters in the liberal Dane County that helped Biden flip the battleground state three years ago. He's now angry at the president over his support for Israel's invasion of Gaza. He is allowing this war to happen and, and is funding this war. I don't know what will happen if I don't vote for him, but I know it won't be me supporting that. In 2020, Election Day exit polls showed young voters back Biden over Donald Trump by more than 20 points. But a recent NBC News poll shows former President Trump leading this group by four percentage points and President Biden at risk of losing a key part of his winning coalition. Do you plan on voting for him in November? I don't know. 60% of young voters say they oppose more funding and military aid to Israel. On climate, uh, on COVID responses. You could tell he, his and his administration were doing uh, really great work. But I think after October 7th, the question became a matter of, of human rights. Republican presidential candidates have also vocally supported Israel's campaign against Hamas. But it's President Biden's young progressive base that's been increasingly sympathetic to Palestinians. Did all of you vote for Biden in 2020? Yeah. Yeah. No. Supporting Mr. Biden is a conversation, sometimes a debate, that this group of Wisconsin friends say they are now having regularly. He has the lar largest infrastructure bill since Eisenhower. I mean, that's a huge thing. Not, not enthused. Uh, I'd say overall I feel very pragmatic and strategic about it. In 2020, I looked at Biden like a used car. Like, it will disappoint me. It's not going to have leather seats. It's not going to have all the stuff that I want. But, I mean, hopefully it'll get me from point A to point B. And I think he did that. An easy choice for some. What's the best argument that you have for young voters to support Joe Biden? The other guy is way worse. <laughs> it's that simple. I, I think it is. Young voters who can tip the balance in 2024 already weighing their options. Shaquille Brewster, NBC News, Madison. You know, and again, guys, the social media likes to use people like this that are really towards one side because they want to, they don't want to show, uh, you know, they don't want to come down in the South and show a group of farmers that have worked their tails off on a farm and say, who would you vote for? Because you know exactly who they would vote for. But there again, guys, it's how the media plays it. But I showed you those videos and said so to show you that 
This is a possibility, and this is something that could very well happen. And what I love is that it's not for the student debt borrowers. It's not for those that make $150,000, 120000 a year. It's for low-income seniors, and it's for SSDI and SSI. And I know as well as you know that with the way that our economy has been unstable – that it continues to be unstable with high rates of unemployment and inflation, the growing talks of a possible fourth stimulus check in 2024. We're going to shed some lights because there's a financial assistance that can happen right here for individuals on a fixed income, such as Social Security, SSI, SSDI, VA, and Survivor. Given the uncertain economic and upcoming elections, it's important to examine the necessity of this potential financial aid, although there's not really been a huge press conference to come out and have somebody say, hey, we're going to send them out tomorrow. You'll have it in your bank account, direct deposit just the way that you like it. But no, but reasons for new $2,000 stimulus checks for seniors, and this has been something that so many of you have wanted and need. And while the videos have stated that while it won't be a life-changing thing, this is something that would def definitely benefit you and help you get a little further down the road. Because $2,000 for six months, guys, $2,000 a month, six months guaranteed, that's a pretty little penny. And for some of you guys that make $10,000, uh, $12,000 a year, that's almost doubling your income. So again, it definitely would benefit several of you guys in a big, big way. Now, what happens for the seniors and what happens for, for those on SSDI, SSI, this is something that's definitely going to have to change within the economic system that's going to provide you guys with more, more money. John, Ace, and Phoebe, Patrick, Joel, Bonnie, Troy, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We've got a ton of information for you right here in this video. $2,000 Social Security payment for low-income seniors, fourth stimulus check in 2024. Just come out today. And the reasons for new stimulus checks for $2,000 for who? Seniors, guys. And that, you know, that again is where so many people... So many people are looking for a change. There are new signs that... And this is another video I'm going to leave you with, guys, to show you some updated news on what is happening. Check this out. There are new signs that Israel's war with Hamas is becoming a political problem for President Biden, particularly among minority and younger voters. A recent NBC News poll found just 15% of voters under the age of 35 approve of the president's handling of the Israel-Hamas conflict, 70% disapprove. As the Wall Street Journal reports, quote, for some on the left, the extent of President Biden's support for Israel in its conflict with Hamas and his recent backing of the border policy overhaul, including his push for restricting asylum, might be too much to overcome. Let's bring in News Nation Chief Washington anchor Leland Bitter, host of On Balance. Leland, how much of a li let's start with Israel and Hamas. How much of a liability is the Israel war becoming for President Biden in his re-election hopes? Well, a lot less of one thanks to the Republicans, because it appears though they gave President Biden two get out of jail free cards, one on the border Israel-Ukraine bill, and two, as Tom Dempsey reported, when the standalone Israel aid bill that Republicans were going to try to put through to corner President Biden on just this issue, it failed in the House thanks to Republican votes. So there you go. Um, the, the, the Republicans gave President Biden multiple gifts yesterday uh, on this. So <laughs> I may not have been. So many people, guys, have been in conflict on where they are literally trying to figure out what's going to happen. Upcoming elections, guys, it's going to be a major thing. It's going to be a big ordeal. People are going to be like, what's going on? But we will keep you updated again, you know, this information, we're going to keep you updated on the news that is going on, things that are happening, the reasons for a new $2,000 stimulus check for seniors. 
Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Your love, support mean the world. We couldn't do this without you. Make sure to like and subscribe. Stay updated every single night on this news. And guys, stay awesome, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one.